Hey guys, before we get going, I need to let you know I have a job opening. Full-time filming, editing, breaking the internet. If you have any interest, there will be more info in the description below the video. There will also be an email you can send me some of your work. With that said, it's time to get a lifeboat soggy. We made it to the enclosed lifeboat. More importantly, the enclosed lifeboat has made it to us. Today's video is not gonna be like any of our other boat projects. We spent a little bit more up front so that she could be water ready and hopefully one day. And today is the day that we're gonna prep her to dip her in. Before we prep the boat for the open waters, there are a couple things I forgot to show you guys. Come on, the last one. Come on. We have four main roof compartments, but this fourth one is being a real stick in the mud. Since we can't get her from beneath. Yeah. Sometimes it just takes a little force. We have one directly over the captain's chair. Oh yeah, the seal just fell directly off that one. Not great. We also have one off the very front and every door has a latch to hold it open in the wind. Kind of nice because if you think about 64 men being in an enclosed spot, it's like a human microwave for flatulence. And the final rooftop door, that was stupid, is in the rear. This one's catching on something. Boom. So if we do take a leak on in the end of this video, we will have some escape hatches through the top, which is a good feeling. I don't know how I'd feel about being in a 24,000 pound vessel shaped like this, especially if it started sinking. That would suck. Oh, yeah. What I look forward to most having this boat on the open water is this walkway. In the middle of the top of the boat, we have this reinforced path that's made to hold heavy boys like myself. It's also pretty strong on the outside of the pathway. I'm 250 something pounds these days and there's no cracking. <laughs> One last thing before we get going. I found a few things, a few survival. I don't know what it is about emergency drinking water and myself. It pretty much just follows me everywhere I go. Oh, that's got to be terrible for you, dude. That's got to knock a couple of years off the life expectancy for sure. The coolest part of the boat to me, which I wish they would have left the original seats and seat belts in here just because it would have looked and felt so much more retro. But if you look down the boat, there's little areas for the seat belts to hook up and secure the seats. So that is where the 64 people would have fit in here. So if you did have to spend time in this, so you would throw one of these puppies on, it comes with a little submersible light, kind of like those fishing jackets where you fall in, they expand and keep you up. This thing, when it's fully submersed, lights up flickers lights. Then you got attached to your left a whistle. It tells you how to blow SOS. So it's three quicks, three longs, three quicks. Gosh, working on an oil rig would suck, dude. Also in the back, we have a bilge pump and a few different little electrical boxes. I don't really know what any of these do. I had a few emails from you guys. I'm gonna put the serial number to the lifeboat in the description. I'm gonna put an email below so that you can send me some information about the boat. Hopefully I can get to know this puppy before we put it to a true test. All right, boat is sealed. The objective for the next hour and a half 
is to pressure wash and clean off all the gunk. You can kind of see where the old water line was around the boat. I'm really hoping that that's how deep it sit. I'm really hoping all the paint doesn't just come right off. So we just spent an hour pressure washed the bottom of the old girl. For some reason, it's stained. We've all had stained bottoms, but this one, there's nothing you can do about it. I put the pressure washer on full blast and she just did absolutely nothing. It kind of sucks. So I'm thinking if we want that water stain to come off the boat, we might actually have to repaint. But the good news is once it's in the water, you won't see it. And we didn't find any more holes than we already have. So it's always a win. All right. So last video, we found a hole in the bottom of the boat, roughly yay big. Maybe a cow anus, if you want to visually. I don't know if it's supposed to be there. It could be the drain plug. We're water testing the boat tomorrow. So today we're gonna to fill it up. If we need to put it back in later, we can. She definitely needs more work than I thought, but good starting point. The one thing that I have never done when it comes to fiberglass, repair i've never fixed a hole that's directly above me it's the only thing i'm nervous we've always worked down so i think we're gonna have to pack all this stuff in maybe tape under it to keep it in position it's kind of crazy looking tim would be proud add a little bit of hardener that is way too much it's gonna harden up immediately she's firing off quick dude speed baby mm. Oh, see if we can't fill this up the first go around oh yeah that's not good yeah, that's what I didn't want just falls right out shoot oh wow it's really reacting I think we trapped some in there. It's not pretty, but that was mostly just for the internal side of this hole. Fiberglass is like that thick. So hoping we just did half of that. And then the rest of the, the fiberglass mat we put on there can just kind of push it all in there. Ooh. Well, that's reacting. We're gonna get the silicone and seal up pretty much everything. Mm. We're gonna start with the loose fiberglass, work our way up to that tight woven. Should be plenty for now. Oh yeah. Put a little bit of hardener on it. Oh yeah, she reacted quick, dude. That's perfect. Perfect. Ah! Get off me. We're just gonna soak. Oh gosh. <clears throat> yeah. Here we go. Yes. Oh dude, she did not want to stay up there. Falls right off. It is a lot harder to do when you're working beneath it than when you're working on top of it. my good buddy Davy Gravy and we're getting fit with Raycon earbuds. I want to show you just how versatile the everyday earbuds are. Uh, excuse me. Dude, listen to them in the house when you're sweeping or when you're doing couples yoga with your bestie. Yoga! We're you looking for a gift this holiday season. Raycons are the way to go. Trust me, dude. Just trust me. Oh, come on. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, it is. Raycon's wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers offer premium sound. Useful features, <laughs> they offer an almost custom comfortable fit and up to 54 hours of battery life. And to the person gifting them, you gotta love that they start at half the price of other premium audio brands. They also take all the thought out of gifting. You can just look at the guide they have for moms, dads, coworkers. They'll tell you the best product for the people in your life. Or knock out that whole list by shopping Raycon bundles. You can save up to 30% off. My favorite bundle is the All-Star Bundle. You get the everyday, I'm getting tight. Okay, okay. 
You're good, you're good. Oh, oh, oh. Comes with the everyday earbuds and the fitness earbuds, so you can keep the clean ones on when you're going to and from the gym, and get those fitness earbuds when you're getting that heavy rep in. Go to buyraycon.com slash AOFishing, or the link in the description box <laughs> to save up to 20% off site-wide, or save up to 30% with a special Raycon holiday bundle. There's gonna be a... <laughs> Some of the most comfortable wireless earbuds I've ever worn that stay in your ear no matter what. Go to buyraycon.com slash AOFishing to get yourself a pair. <laughs> Dude, you have a wagon, dog. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> All right, make you a little pile. <laughs> oh. Three more, baby. Oh. Oh no! Mm. Oh. I hope you can digest that stuff. I got a little in my mouth. Oh. Oh. Boom, baby. 700 pounds of ballast. Nice. We are about to tow the lifeboat for the first time. I've borrowed a family friend's 5,500, we got an 18 to 24,000 pound package. Somewhere around in there, according to Google. All right. Holy smokes. She's rocking. Oh my gosh, it looks so crazy behind the truck. That's huge. this dude. Yeah, so some random dude hired me to pull their lifeboat to there. I can take it back to the marina if you want, Mr. Game Warden. I do not have a good feeling in my tummy right now. Today's a big day. Lifeboat water test. We're gonna see if the 64 person enclosed Facebook marketplace lifeboat floats. A lot of words, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions, a lot of people staring. I'm 50-50, man. Honestly, more like 60-40 that something could go terribly wrong, but if she doesn't sink and we retrailer it, W. Fingers crossed. Oh, that's tight. That's tight. Oh gosh. Could be the dumbest thing I've ever done. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Nothing like throwing your friend's truck on a 45 degree angle with 20,000 pounds on the back of her. I'm nervous, man. I am nervous. Come on, girl, please float for me. She's entering the water. Holy smokes, we're gonna, I don't know if this ramp is gonna let us get off the trailer. It's gonna be mighty close. Woo! We're so close. Kind of amassed an audience of two, which is a pretty big deal for where I live. A lot of people out here. I think if I put you in the truck, leave the camera here, I'm gonna get in the boat, just have you shove me in. Pickle. Oh gosh. Whew. All right. <laughs> All right, brother. Come on. Sounds fantastic. We should begin floating soon. I don't know how deep it has to sit in there. The back's floating. That's a good feeling. I hope I fall in for all these people. Go on. They were going off. Oh. Oh. Good Lord. You don't notice how big that trailer is till it comes out of the water. <sighs> See if there's any water. 
coming in the bottom of the boat. Okay. I don't hear any water coming in, which is a fantastic feeling. One thing I didn't think about is my camera guy is now on the bank and I'm in a lifeboat and I forgot how to crank it, so. That's not doing much. Globing. All right. I think that's on. Diesel, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Come on! It's so weird steering it. Time to cut the motor. We're about to hit. <laughs> All aboard. I don't know why I had so many doubts, dude. James. You're a great guy. The best Facebook Marketplace experience I've ever had. We're floating, cranked the first try, and I don't hear any water. I do smell some diesel, but I think that's that's normal. That's what I'm going with. We're gonna crank it up one time, take it on one big loop, then trailer it up. Fingers crossed, nothing happens. steering wheel which is super tiny got our temperature our oil in case anything goes wrong got a speedometer or a rpm gauge i do not see a gas gauge i'm just hoping there's enough in here for one big loop come on girl turn you have to spin it so many times to turn it
kind of took a little break. Chilling in the middle of the lake on the enclosed lifeboat. Feels pretty surreal, not gonna lie. We've had a lot of boat buying projects go a lot of different ways, but this could be the best thing that's ever happened to the channel. Best purchase we've ever made. She doesn't skip, she purrs. It cranks every time on the first time, which is just ridiculous. We don't know how much diesel we have left. Gotta crank her up, take her back to the ramp. I'm so excited. I think that right there, just pumping exhaust out right there. That's our problem. Seal it up. Yep. If you were somehow locked into a lifeboat, say a super serious storm where the boat was rolling over, you could only look through these little windows, I would be hurling, man. Can't see anything. <laughs> Woo! Well, there's a little fumey in there. Not a fan. Not a fan. Hey, I might ram it on the beach. Like a G, dude. Well, I would consider that a pretty successful first water test with the enclosed lifeboat. I spoke a little too soon, said it was going absolutely perfect, and then there's a little crack in the motor box, fiberglass box. It was just pumping out fumes into the boat. Luckily, we kept our heads out most of the time and stood on top of the boat, so all the fumes were kind of not on top of us, but it's a pretty big problem we need to fix. Could definitely lead to some harmful effects to keep it family friendly. Either way, she floats, she runs, and she didn't kill us. Pretty good investment. See you guys on the next one. I love you, peace. Oh, wait. I kinda just wanna go home right now. <laughs> just had the carbon dioxide alarm go off covered in monoxide. We make dioxide, I knew that. This looks so incredible, man. Oh, I can almost see my cracks wet from there, dude. Yep, yeah, that's not happening. Watch yourself. <laughs>